Hi, I'm Alice Sproul, and this is Tori Owen. And coming up on our new stories on Colts Connections. First, we'll dive into the girls wrestling team and what the members think of it. We have put together a news package for some insight on your Edgewood girls wrestling team. We hope that you'll sit back, watch, and enjoy. Thank you for your time. No, I think it's amazing to make a girls wrestling team. I mean, girls should have the same equality as boys, you know. Boys get to wrestle, girls get to wrestle. I think it all is the same concept. I think there are better girls out there than wrestling than boys. I mean, I've got beat by girls before. I'm going to admit it. I mean, there's just people that are better than us. No, just if anybody wants to come out and join wrestling, I suggest them to come out and join. It's fun. Girls and boys, ages don't matter. Just come out and join. I have a feeling that it would boost people, like girls' confidence to go out and try a different sport if they knew it was just girls instead of co-ed. I like the adrenaline and the fact that you can work with different people and that like you can work with someone that's experienced and the next day you'll be a bit better if you've never wrestled before. A lot of the girls, they are more concerned about wanting to wrestle other girls as opposed to wrestling guys. So again, if we had a separate division, I think more females would be willing to come out for wrestling. Practices are held every day after school and are open to all grades at junior high. One of the unique things about wrestling is that it has people wrestle based upon their weight class and not so much based upon their skill level. And so for wrestling, um, having girls wrestle, there are certain, you know, I, I would say positions or, or, or areas where girls can be a little bit more adept at uh, defense. And so that's something that the more body types are wrestling, the more the sport will probably continue to evolve. Block scheduling is a new thing we started here at Edgewood. Let's get a closer opinion from the staff and students to see how they like it. As everybody knows, it's been a tough year because of COVID. Many schools have had to change the block scheduling to help lessen the spread of COVID-19. This is a closer look of students and staff's opinions at EJHS about block schedule. To, it gives us more time in classrooms to work on some of the skills that we have as a corporation and school have said are important. Uh, so it allows us to be a little more creative in our classrooms, allows us to collaborate more um, and focus on some uh, PBL and STEM projects. Block schedule is when there are four periods each day instead of eight. The four periods are 80 minutes long. The teachers might like the block scheduling because it usually gives them more time to get their whole lesson plan they get to teach for longer. Like I said, in general, I really like it because it can slow the pace of the class down and um, there's more time to really get into things so you don't just get started and then have to leave. And then because we will do labs, it'll make them more fun and exciting. Although it seems to help students learn because they get to be in the classroom for longer, some students don't like to be in the same classroom for almost an hour listening to the same teacher and learning the same thing. Um, you get to have more time to do your work and read or do whatever you need for other classes. The periods are way too long for block scheduling. And the good thing is that block scheduling is helping lessen the COVID-19 cases between students and staff. Reporting for Colts Connection, this is Lily Padgett. Game Club is a club here at Edgewood. Let's get a closer look on how to join. Our team has sat down and interviewed a few students and teachers about Game Club. Here is Ms. Grimes and some students talking about how to join. You just come on a Friday at 2.30 and you are um, required to sign in on an attendance form and then you just start playing. Uh, I actually started it when we were doing online learning. I had a game club once a week and we played online on Zoom and when we came back to school those students asked me if I would consider having game club again and so we started doing it here. People that are there, it just feels like a good family. Uh, my favorite game is Throw Throw Burrito because it's very active and fun. Probably Jumanji because it's a lot of fun and everyone joins. I'm Grace Eads signing off from Cold Connection. 
Baking Club is a new club here at Edgewood. Let's see what they have been up to. The Baking Club is a weekly club that takes place after school. I heard there was Baking Club and I could like make my skills better and I could like make apple pies and cookies and, and stuff like that. I was like, oh, I want to try that. Well, actually, Baking Club was not my idea. A student, sixth grade student um, in one of my classes came to me one day and said, Mrs. Coons, could we have a baking club? And I don't know why she asked me, um, but it turns out I do really like baking, and my mother is like an expert cake decorator baker, and so um, I said, okay. Baking Club is such a popular club that they had to divide it into two days, Monday and Tuesdays, because there are so many people. There are over 40 kids that wanted to be in it. Really enjoy it because it's not something that you would learn just staying at home and cooking with your mom or like cooking with your cookies with your grandma. I really liked when we made cinnamon swirl bread because that would taste really good and my friends really liked it and my mom really liked it and it was really pretty and it was really easy to make. So. Um, I really like how many friends I have and they make it like a lot of fun. A lot of different groups of kids, boys and girls and um, different, you know, just kids that play sports and kids that, you know, are more the brainiacs and they're all, you know, kind of hanging out together having some cookies. Samantha Thompson, signing off. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Ellis Sproul. And I'm Tori Owen. And, and this, this is Cole's Connection. Connection.